Okay, hello, greetings and welcome. How to purify chi. Purification of chi. I'll use the Buddhist model first because it's my favorite. I have a slight bias towards Buddhism, I love it. Now, in Buddhist alchemy, you, there's a saying that in order for the deities to transmit uh, light through you, they transmit it through the precepts. So they can only transmit healing light, skills, supernatural powers through your precepts. Your precepts are tuning forks in your astral body, in your chi body. So they have something in resonance. The highest layer of each of your astral layers has light and they contain your precepts. They're reinforced and strong. The light through the law of attraction hits that and radiates out as power. Now let's say we take a person who doesn't have precepts but they have very high concentration. Their mind goes up here, and, but their astral personality is down here. They come out of meditation, and in medit the meditation state is very pure, so this energy is what's seeking to go up. It depends how many hours a day it goes up, then they go down into no ethics, no morals, no, no um, uh, code of living, and they fall into their astral ego. And then they meditate, they go up. So they have this rhythmic swing in their personality, up, down, up, down, up, down. The center of gravity of that rhythmic, rhythmic swing of how much time they spend up in that upper light state, non-dual light state, and akashic state, stillness state, concentrated state, engaging the Buddha's light and being the Buddha's right, light realms and so forth, versus being in their astral personality. There's a center of gravity in there. And that center of gravity is their stable middle line. That's the purity of their chi. You take someone who has high ethical ideas, ideals. They, have, they, they, they stay within those ideals. Their precepts are strong. So it's up here. They never actually get into that space. They meditate. They're in the pure states of light and stillness. And then they drop down into their ethics. So what happens, the, the rhythm of the person with no precepts, the base is there, the person with precepts has a base there, they do this, and the center of gravity, that is in the middle somewhere, based on how much time they spend in meditation versus how much time they spend in their ethical nature. And there's a center of gravity in the middle there. That's the center of gravity and purity of their chi. So the easiest way to purify the chi is state to yourself, what are my precepts? What's my code of conduct? How do I live my life? What's the karma of each one of my precepts and how do they function? What's the metaphysics of the precepts? You, put, you write that down, you stick it on the wall in your dojo, in your kun, every time you walk in, your precepts are there. You bow to the altar, you look at your precepts, you surrender, I am thus. And then what happens? It integrates, reflects back into your unconscious. You start acting on it, thinking about it, feeling it, experiencing it, becomes a part of your reality, and your chi gets purified. This is how you purify the chi in qi kung and metaphysical systems. Thank you for your time, and uh, see you in the next video.